What's good, my dudes? My name is Trailer. Welcome back to Penumbra Overture. Sorry. All right. Last time we got somewhere, so now we continue from there. All right, Alfred. Good to see you're doing well. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alfred is so excited. Can you tell? Sorry, Alfred. I have to leave you behind. Gotta do this ladder thing again. Damn, the music is so creepy. Alfred, are you holding the door for me? How sweet of you. What a good man he is. Alright, let's uh, close this. Please. I always close doors behind me. Alright, Alfred, you stay there. Actually, no. I'm gonna take Alfred with. Alfred's the only one who makes this game not scary. Alfred's so heavy, though. That's a problem. He needs to seriously go on a diet. Fuck you, Dre! No, shut up, Alfred. You know it's true. Alright. It's a dog. The dogs are around. Alright. Food. Useless. More food. Useless. I'm surprised the dog didn't hear that. Oh, what's this? Alright. Loading. Load. Oh, shit. I forgot Alfred, didn't I? Oh, well. That's Alfred's problem. Not mine. Alright. Wait, wasn't I this side before? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alfred, protect me. Protect me, Alfred. Keep me safe. Alfred? Alfred? Ooh, Alfred, keep me safe. Keep me safe. He doesn't see me. I've never been this scared in my life. I can feel my heart racing. If anything gets within a more few feet of my hiding spot, I better not stare it out. Anything with my field of vision might panic me. Then I'm a goner. All right, Alfred, lead the way. Be a good bro and check if it's safe. Is it safe, Alfred? Alfred, can I lean? Okay, I can lean. Don't worry, Alfred, I'm coming back for you. All right, Alfred, let's go. Come on, bro. Even though there's no need to fear, I'm with you, bro. Thanks, Alfred. I always appreciate the encouragement. The false encouragement, but still, it's encouragement nonetheless. Can never go wrong with some good old fashioned encouragement. Alright, Alfred. This is where shit gets wild, man. Holy shit. It's always good to have a, a pet rock by your side. So if one of those things comes at me, Alfred can take care of it. Uh, Alfred, shut the fuck up! You're gonna get me caught, you stupid. We're supposed to go this way? Alright, Alfred, I'm gonna take your word for it and go this way. I hope you are not wrong, because I do not want to die. Alright, later, Alfred. It's stuck. I'm trapped. I need to get out. Damn it, Alfred. You led me to a dead end yet again. Alfred is the worst with directions. I've come to learn this. Alfred? What the hell, man? I trusted you to guide me through these tunnels. You've been here a lot longer than I have. What is your problem? Does Alfred want me to die? I swear. Alright, Alfred, which way? Left or right? Go right, bro. Right we go. Cool. So much history in this place, tied up in words and left to decompose. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Alfred would know a lot about that, but he doesn't tell me anything now, does he? Alfred is the worst. Whoa. More of those things. It's also uh, similar things in Amnesia as well. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, still I know. This man before me is Howard. I call him Father. Whoa. It was different, but the same that time. Like, I had more control. But over what? Baxterin? What the hell's Baxterin? I don't know. Oh yeah, more reading. <laughs> Uh, 15th August 1945 command bunker emergency airstrip Zulu what the hell oh interesting Zulu warriors around here that's cool 
Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received, standard emergency drills carried out, routine runway maintenance completed. I've ordered maintenance be carried out twice weekly from here on in due to increased snowfall, one wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern. Back in London, the Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I take partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom, and I'm sure that's where they learned the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have now locked up that manual in the chest in my office and will keep the key on my person at all times. Okay, so basically, we must learn to make bomb and explode ourselves out of here. Light. I miss being outside already. This place is starting to get to me, but even if I could reach that great it looks bolt into the rock itself no way it's coming loose yeah fair enough i can i can i get that it's too late to turn back now we have to find another way out Ooh, beef jerky well, i guess that means i can eat now or well, maybe it's for the dog not without aroma all right we got a lot of interesting things in our person now oh hey here is the thing kind of just want to have a bit of a look around still. Rotting wooden shells must be the added moisture from the grate. This whole room is petrifying. Putrefying, whatever. Da, da, da. Okay, well, the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally sown into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at Greenland Mine. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern Need Mine last year. They discovered that even taking into account of Greenland's naturally high suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high, at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace compared to the national average of 29. On further investigation, experts diagnosed in many of the minor symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This had prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid, a pH full form that recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties, may be present in the rocks. Great, so basically, I'm gonna get really, really high, and then I'm gonna become schizophrenic, and then I'm gonna die. Oh, cool, boo. Hey, don't bounce back at me. Lighter plus fuel equals smiley face. Spiders equals sad face. Interesting. I did not know that's how math worked. All right, dudes, I'm gonna end this episode here because no, it's not because I'm stuck, but because I really don't have that much time to record because I'm meant to be meeting up with my friends today in about like 10 minutes, so I can't really get much further. But um, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Not much happened, but I promise more will get done, okay? I'm still learning this game. It's a very hard game. I mean, it's made by Fractional Games. What do you expect? There's a lot of mystery and puzzle. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Check you later, dudes. Shit, this is body! Ah! Ah! Wait, fuck off! Fuck off! I wanted to talk. Eh. Get big punch. I punch your dick. I punch your dick. Ah!